Hello everyone, our viewer Frank here with Kathy and Coco, and we are going off the beaten path west of Big Pine, California, to Glacier Lodge up by the Palisades Glacier. So come along, join us, and enjoy the ride, and get a little feel of the past. We are driving north on US 395 as we enter the small town of Big Pine. The turn off to Glacier Lodge Road in Big Pine Lakes is ahead at the center of town west on Crocker Street. We are now on the 11 mile Glacier Lodge Road, which follows the valley of the Big Pine Creek to where it splits into two branches, beneath some of the highest peaks in the Sierra, including 14,242 foot North Palisades, the fourth largest in the state. Big Pine Creek is a renowned trout fishing location and has easy access to many places along the highway. For about two-thirds of the way, the Glacier Lodge Road is a 6 to 7 percent grade with very little road shoulder on the downside which drops 3 to 400 feet down. There are crosswinds today with gusts about 40 miles per hour that get your attention as I tease Kathy a little about bringing the motor home. I'd like to bring the motor home. What? <laughs> Would you like to bring them over? No way. There's some good camping up here. Yeah. This is why you won't go so <laughs> The east side of the Sierra Nevada is much steeper than the west, rising 10,000 feet above the open flatlands of Owens Valley, over just a few miles. So the high elevation backcountry is generally quicker to reach.
that what it said? right now what are you talking about see that snow falling no. you'll see it oh, it's snowing right now it's snow on the hood oh I did see some yeah oh my goodness <laughs> We're passing Sage Flat Campground, and up ahead is the Big Pine Canyon Group Campsite. Just beyond those mountains in the valley straight ahead is the Temple Crag, North Palisade, and Palisade Glacier. To the right are the trails to the Big Pine Lakes area. We covered with snow pretty soon. It's 37. Left is a side road to Glacier Lodge, while straight on past the gate are a few private residences before the road ends. Oh, there's a car. It's a lodge. This is oh, it. A couple cars. Hey, this isn't a good road. I mean, it's not a good road. It's not a two-lane road. Oh, look at that water. Babbling Brook. open up here. Oh look, sodas, groceries, sodas, beer, wine, worm, shower. Today the Glacier Lodge site is a peaceful, quiet place, but it has not always been this way. 
Glacier Lodge was built in 1917 by Walter Dow, who built the Dow Hotel in Lone Pine for the movie stars, and the Winnedumma Hotel in Independence. Glacier Lodge was destroyed by fire in 1967 and promptly rebuilt. It burned down again later that year after an avalanche struck, causing an explosion. It was rebuilt in 1969 and stood nestled amid the pines offering a scenic retreat for fishermen and other tourists for many years. Until in 1999, an electrical fire burned the main lodge to the ground. Though nine cabins were spared and are still used today, one of the cabins is now a front desk, a store, and a kitchen. The owners are still mourning the loss of Glacier Lodge that was once often called the jewel of the Sierra and once the vacation getaway of such stars as John Wayne and Rita Hayward. This location was used as a movie set as well. The Wedding March, filmed in 1927, directed by the famous German filmmaker Erich von Stroheim, was a stickler for realism. The foundation of the set remains above Glacier Lodge, and much confusion remains about it. Frasher's published a picture of it and identified it as a movie set, but not identical to the studio version of it as seen in the book, The Complete Wedding March, a compilation of all the stills known to exist of the film. The set was altered some and was used by the Glacier Lodge as a site for their visitors to hike to and have cocktails in the afternoon provided by the lodge staff. For the hardy movie fan, it is worth a worthwhile trek, even today, although just a foundation remains. Sorry, but you'll have to bring your own cocktails as the lodge burned some years ago. Ahead, at the fork in the road, just beyond that yellow bush, is the crumbled rock foundation of the Glacier Lodge. And to the right of the Glacier Lodge is the other foundation for the Palisade Lodge. And then the cabins further to the right, with the green roof being the office and store. Cold, they got the door shut. <laughs> okay. Driving through these ruins is a little weird to imagine how it was back in the day, with the many who made the long trek up here to vacation and have fun. And you think of the harsh blow this area was given over the years. Yeah. There's the foundation. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Now, where is this going? Well, this is going to the camp for now. Let's take us back out to the main road. Glacier Lodge Trailer Park. Oh, water, electric, shower, toilet. Pay at the store. Oh, it's closed. You can't go through. you got to turn around. Oh, yeah. It's, it's up there. Turn around up here, it's a little nicer place. You can make a wide turn. Around. It's not as rocky. It was real rocky back there. Little benches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't go up there. I'm not. I'm just pulling up here to get a, a, a shot what of it. Who's he talking to? I don't know, but that's the campgrounds. I guess you could put a trailer in there. They're level. My experiences in the High Sierra over the years have taught me that any time of the year it can be beautiful and serene and turn ugly very quickly 
and you better have an exit strategy. Boy, this is living back here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Trout pond. I think I'm going to take a video with my camera. I mean, like, right with my phone. You want to get out and look? Yeah, I'll get out. You can park right here. I'm going to back up so we can get a picture of us walking up there. Looking goofy. Looking goofy? Yeah, on the camera. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Okay. Here we go, Coco. It's the end of the road, kid. This is where we let you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Ooh. We gotta go see. Let's go see. Oh, yeah. It's a boy. It's snowing. Well, this was fun. But it's time to say goodbye as we head on to our next Off the Beaten Path journey. Thanks for watching. See you soon and have safe travels.